wouldn't it be great to be able to automate the scene session view grid selection here of your APC MK2 25 MK2 <laughs> mini <laughs> APC key 25 MK2 now I got it um, to change the selection here of what's being displayed and you can see that that I can change the scenes uh, selection and the uh, track selection here and change this automatically or via this Max for Life device, via scene selection, via playing clip selection, or I can automate this to jump anywhere I need to via a MIDI dummy clip. Hi, I'm Toby from Ableton Drummer, and I want to show you how you can set up this Max for Life device to automate the selection. So for example, if you have a really big set in Ableton Live Session View and you want to change the selection of what's being displayed and what you can control via your APC Key 25 MK2 here, you can use this Max for Life device. By the way, um, Max for Life is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. Okay, so let me quickly show you how you can set this up. So if you go into your preferences in Ableton Live under Link Tempo MIDI, um, you will see the, so the middle section here, which is your control surface action here. So this, those are MIDI remote scripts which are talking to your MIDI hardware controller and they are talking back to Ableton Live both ways. So um, this is, should be automatically selected if you plug in a um, MIDI external MIDI controller which has a control surface. So this is automatically activated. Um, for example, this MK2 version here of the APC Key 25 it uh, doesn't have a control script in Ableton Live 10. So in theory, it would work with, a with Ableton 10, but you don't have a MIDI remote script present here. So I tested this with 11 and 12. It's working with 11 and 12. I'm showing you this here in 11, Ableton Live 11. Okay, so um, you can see that this control surface section here is exactly the same, which is represented down below here. So if I change something, for example, if I set the first slot to none, and now if I go to my device here and I hit refresh, you can see it's um, the first slot is showing none now as well. So if you use Ableton Live, set this up, save your Ableton Live set. If you don't change anything in your um, preferences here, it will open up and recall this automatically, obviously with the device here. So you just need to select the controller you want to control here. So in this case, APC key 25 MK2. This is the one I'm selecting here. And now this, um, device is con this max for life device is controlling the selection of the green box it's moving in ableton live here and it's moving on the apc key here as well you can see the clips are moving and or oh, the selection of the clips here is moving so you can now set this up to to, to be automated. So if you have, for example, a song in the sixth scene here and you want this to jump there, um, you can just set up um, automations, grid tracks or grid scenes. So we could actually move this automatically to a different um, track here as well. Maybe let's set up just um, one breakpoint here in the grid scene selection and maybe let's set this to number four just for showing purposes here i turn off the loop of this clip because i just want this to be sent once and when i play this clip now where i set this automation and this um envelope here you can see that the grid is moving to this place okay so this is how easy you can set up a movement of the grid um which is being displayed on your APC key 25. Okay, so you, because uh, there is one special thing here on the APC, let me quickly move there and I hope you can hear me now. I'm gonna talk a little bit louder because you are able to select um, and to control um, things like the fader here via the dial. So this is part of the control script. So if I move the selection 
um, to starting to add the second track now this is gonna the same dial is gonna control something like the next track here the volume fader and obviously this is working for the pan and for um, the different MIDI bindings here happening on this control surface script here so you're not only able to set up different clips uh, in session here you are able to change to different tracks here as well automatically if you want to do this okay so you have two more um, ways on how you can automate this the selection here so for example i could switch that to selected scene so what's happening now is if i change the selecting scene so i'm just selecting uh, different scenes here you can see the grid and what's being displayed on your APC key here is changing regarding to which scene is selected. So the scene you are selecting is always the top row here. I have one more, which is the playing clip here. So if I have, have several clips here, you can see that if I only um, start the uh, clip here, but it's jumping there. So if I now play this one so this way if you want your grid to move always with a playing clip on that particular particular uh, track here you can set this up here as well this way it's a little bit quicker than setting up um, automations for all uh, clips here so you are completely free and make use um, how how it makes sense for you really here so um, this is a max for life device max for life is included in ableton life suite or can be bought as an add-on towards ableton life standard so this wouldn't work with ableton life light or intro because you would need max for life for making use of max for life devices okay cool um please follow the links in the video description here to uh, get this device uh, to check it out take care and talk to you soon or see you soon on this channel or in my email list or anywhere else take care bye bye